Should you invest in stocks or is it better to invest in dividend ETFs? For decades, stocks have been the cornerstone of investment portfolios, offering the promise of growth and wealth accumulation. Investors have navigated the stock market with individual stock picks, aiming to capitalize on growth opportunities and dividend payouts. However, in recent years, a new alternative has emerged, offering investors a smoother ride through the market fluctuations while still delivering attractive returns. Dividend ETFs blend the benefits of stock ownership with diversification and stability, offering investors a diverse range of income-generating assets, from established blue-chip companies to high-yield dividend payers, all within a single, convenient package. So, join us as we unravel the secrets behind these game-changing investment vehicles and discover how they could revolutionize your investment strategy. And without much ado, let's get started. Dividend ETFs have garnered attention as a compelling option for investors seeking to achieve financial independence with a stable and reliable investment strategy, as opposed to the often volatile nature of investing in individual stocks. Dividend ETFs or exchange-traded funds that focus on companies that pay dividends offer a more diversified approach to pooling a variety of dividend-paying stocks into a single investment. The diversification is key to reducing risk, as it mitigates the impact of poor performance from any single company on the overall portfolio. Investing in individual stocks can sometimes provide high returns, but it comes with higher volatility and risks. Single stock investments are heavily dependent on the company's performance, market position, and sector health, all of which can fluctuate wildly based on economic changes, industry innovations, and company-specific issues. For instance, a company might perform exceptionally well for a decade only to face unforeseen challenges that drastically affect its stock value. Such a scenario can jeopardize financial plans, especially for those relying on stock investments for retirement or other long-term goals. In contrast, dividend ETFs offer a more balanced and less stressful investment route. By investing in a fund that tracks a wide array of companies, investors are not overly exposed to the fortunes of any single entity. Furthermore, the dividend focus means that investors can enjoy a steady stream of income from their holdings, which can be reinvested to compound growth or used as passive income, supporting financial stability over time. This approach aligns well with the goal of financial independence, providing both growth potential through reinvestment and income stability through regular dividends, all while maintaining lower volatility compared to individual stock investments. Historical Market Performance Now, when it comes to the historical market performance, let's look at the SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust. This is an ETF that mirrors the performance of the S&P 500. It tracks the performance of the top 500 largest companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States also serves as a key indicator of the health and volatility of the American corporate sector. A look back over the past two decades reveals significant shifts in the companies that dominate the S&P 500 index, offering a clear demonstration of the risks inherent in single stock investments. Take for example General Electric, which in 2001 was the titan of the S&P 500. GE was not just a company but an emblem of American industrial might, leading the index with the highest market capitalization. However, by 2021, GE's scenario had dramatically changed. The company faced a series of challenges, including financial difficulties and sectoral declines, which led to its sharp fall in market valuation and its eventual exit from the list of top companies in the S&P 500. This stark reversal of fortune is a textbook example of how market leaders can falter and the consequences for investors can be severe if their portfolios are overly concentrated in such stocks. Similarly, other major companies like ExxonMobil and Citigroup 
which were among the leading companies in 2001, have seen their positions fluctuate over the years due to various external pressures, including changes in the global economy, new regulatory environments, and shifts in consumer preferences. ExxonMobil, for example, has grappled with the volatile nature of oil prices and the increasing global push towards renewable energy, factors which have led to significant price swings for its stocks. Citigroup, too, has faced its share of upheavals, particularly during the financial crisis of 2007-2008, which reshaped the banking sector globally. Contrast this with the rise of technology giants like Apple, Tesla and Google Alphabet, which were either just beginning or non-existent in the top echelons of the S&P 500 at the start of the millennium. Apple, which was struggling to find significant market shares in the early 2000s, revolutionized several consumer technology sectors, most notably with the iPhone in 2007. This innovation not only secured Apple's place in the market, but also catapulted it to the top of the S&P 500, highlighting how technological innovation and market adaptation can lead to tremendous growth. Google, similarly, rose from being a popular search engine to a massive multinational conglomerate with its hands in everything from digital advertising to consumer electronics and cloud computing. Tesla, which wasn't even on the radar in 2001, emerged as a major player in the automotive industry by pioneering electric vehicles, significantly altering the automotive landscape and achieving a valuation that reflects its market-changing impact. On the other hand, if you had invested in Boeing in 2018 and 2019 because you saw the share price pump up, you would be bleeding dry currently. Boeing had been a stalwart in aerospace. However, it has faced a series of reputational damages due to safety issues with its aircraft models, which not only led to a direct financial hit, but also affected investor confidence. The case of Boeing illustrates how industry-specific risks can detrimentally impact a company's stock performance. As you can see, the market's favorites can change dramatically over time. Companies that once seem like secure bets for long-term growth can falter, while others rise from relative obscurity to market dominance. The ever-changing landscape of the top companies within the S&P 500 exemplify the inherent risks of investing heavily in individual stocks, which may fall out of favor or perform poorly over time. This volatility highlights the advantage of diversified investment vehicles like ETFs which spread out investment risk across a broader portfolio, thus mitigating the impact of any single company's downturn on the investor's overall portfolio performance. Then we have something else. Self-cleansing nature of exchange-traded funds. Exchange-traded funds, particularly those like the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF and the NASDAQ 100 Index Tracking Stock, embodies a principle of investment that seeks to democratize access to financial growth while simultaneously reducing the risk and effort required on the part of the investor. The self-cleansing nature of exchange-traded funds like VTI and QQQ operates through a mechanism of capitalization weighing. In such systems, the funds invest in companies according to their market capitalization which is the total market value of a company's outstanding share. This means that larger companies make up a larger portion of the index fund, and their performance has a corresponding larger impact on the overall value of the fund. Conversely, smaller companies represent a smaller fraction of the funds and have less impact on its overall performance. This capitalization weighted approach has a natural regulatory effect on the fund's composition. As companies increase in value and their stocks perform well, they become a larger part of the fund. Similarly, if a company's market cap decreases due to poor performance or other factors, its representation in the fund automatically diminishes. 
This dynamic adjustment is crucial because it means the fund's holdings are always aligned with the most currently successful and stable elements of the market without requiring manual intervention by the investor. For instance, VTI tracks the performance of the entire US equity market, including small, mid and large cap growth and value stocks. Its portfolio automatically adjusts to include new entrants in the market that meets its criteria and to exclude or reduce holdings in companies that fall behind. Similarly, QQQ tracks the NASDAQ 100 index, which includes 100 of the largest non-financial companies listed on the NASDAQ stock exchange based on market capitalization. It is heavily skewed towards technology companies, and as such, it reflects the dynamic nature of the tech industry, quickly incorporating rising tech stars while phasing out those that are declining. This self-cleansing mechanism ensures that the ETF remains true to its foundational strategy of market representation. By automatically updating its holdings, the fund consistently represents the current state of the market or the specific sector it aims to mirror. This is why exchange-traded funds have become a popular choice for both novice and experienced investors. They offer a straightforward, cost-effective way to gain broad market exposure while benefiting from the natural selection and survival of the fittest that the market enforces. So, should you invest in individual stocks or ETFs? Portfolio Performance Comparison Well, the decision between investing in individual stocks versus exchange-traded funds is one of the most pivotal choices faced by investors particularly those looking to build substantial long-term wealth. A clear illustration of the difference in potential outcomes from these two investment strategies can be seen through a scenario analysis that compares the performance of investing in single stock, General Electric, versus investing in the broader SPY ETF over a period from 2001 to 2021. Let's consider an investor who decides to allocate $1,000 monthly to GE stock starting in 2001. At that time, GE was a powerhouse in the S&P 500, seemingly a safe bet for steady growth. However, over the next two decades, GE faced numerous challenges, including market shifts, financial struggles, and leadership changes which severely impacted its stock price and overall market valuation. By 2021, this strategy would have yielded a total of $126,000, a figure that starkly underperforms relative to the total investment amount of $240,000 over 20 years. This outcome highlights a critical risk of single stock investments. The reliance on the fortunes of one company, which can be swayed by many unpredictable factors from economic downturns to poor management decisions. In contrast, let's analyze the scenario of investing the same $1,000 monthly into the SPY over the same period. Unlike the GE investment, the SPY offers diversification across the top 500 companies in the US using the S&P 500 index, spreading out the investor's risk across multiple sectors and industries. This strategy does not rely on the success of any single entity. As a result, despite the economic ups and downs, including the 2008 financial crisis and other market fluctuations during this period, the total value of the investment would have grown to $392,670 by 2021. This substantial difference in outcomes underlines the power of diversification, a core benefit of investing in exchange-traded funds. The disparity in these investment returns is not just a matter of numerical growth, it reflects deeper financial principles. Investing in a single stock like GE assumes both the volatility and the potential high rewards of that specific company's performance. However, such investments are highly susceptible to company-specific risks, which can drastically undermine the value of the investment, as seen in the GE scenario. 
Conversely, an ETF like the SPY aggregates the performance of many companies, thereby mitigating individual companies' risk through diversification. While no investment is without risk, the impact of any single company's downturn on the index is cushioned by the other's stability or growth. Moreover, the performance of the SPY over the long term has historically shown upward growth despite temporary periods of decline. This trend is due to the ever-evolving composition of the S&P 500 index, which is regularly updated to include thriving companies and exclude those that are declining. This dynamic adjustment ensures that the ETF reflects current market realities and continues to capture the growth potential of the U.S. economy. Consequently, investors who put their money into such diversified portfolios tend to see more stable and reliable growth, benefiting from the collective success of the top companies. So, what are your thoughts on investing in exchange-traded funds over individual stocks? Are you considering adjusting your investment strategy to include these broad market funds? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful investment content.